Hey everyone, Cogweasel here with a video showing you how to change the graphics of the PC version of Spelunky. And before we proceed, here's a bit of a disclaimer. If anything should go wrong when you attempt this, it's your responsibility. I will take no responsibility whatsoever if your Spelunky installation explodes, your computer is set on fire and Steam then eats your cat. It is all your responsibility. So if you know that you've got butterfingers around computer files, then maybe you should think twice before attempting this. That being said, it's not terribly complicated, but just be, be cautious. All right? Good. And what we need to do first is to make sure that Steam and Spelunky is not running. So if they are, just shut them down. And then we need to go to this address and I am going to post the URL in the description. And this leads to a, a post by a user called Sectors on the Steam Spelunky forums. And uh, he's linking to a tool called the Spelunk tool that we need to extract the graphics of the game and also to repack the graphics later on. You can read more about this here if you'd like, and there's also some comments down here if you want to check them out and see how successful other people have been when they are attempting this, pretty much. So we're going to click on this link here, spelunktool.ra, and download it, and I'm going to download it to my desktop. It's a very small file, so that should be pretty quick. And this is a raw file, so we need to unpack it or open it up. And I've installed a program called 7-Sip to do this, and I can thoroughly recommend you to do the same if you want. Uh, I will post a link to this software as well. But all we need to do is to double-click it, and that will unpack or open the RAW file, and you can see there's three files in here. And I'm going to create a new folder on the desktop and call it Spelunky Extract or something like that. And I'm going to open it up and I am going to copy these three files into the into this folder. And now we can shut down 7-zip and we can also delete the raw file if we want to. So what we're going to have to do is to actually unpack or extract the graphics from Spelunky. They are contained within a file uh, called a WOD file. And you may recognize that from from the Doom days, they used a similar file format, or at least a similar name of, of the file. I'm not sure if it's the same format. I don't think it is. But we're going to have to find that file, and I have actually prepared that in advance. So here's a shortcut on my desktop that leads to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Spelunky, Data, Textures. So this is what you need to go and locate in your uh, Steam installation. And we are going to find two files in here called alttext.wad and alttext.wix uh, or alttext.wad.wix rather. And these two files we need to move to the Spelunky Extract folder like this and make sure you copy them. Uh, I said move, I meant copy. Moving is a bad idea because that will actually break your Spelunky installation. So make sure you copy them over here. And I'm going to just minimize that. And just to be safe, I'm going to create a folder called Backup in here, in my Spelunky Extract folder, and copy both of these files that I just copied over here inside of the Backup folder. Just to be safe, if anything should go wrong, you've got the original files stored there, and you can kind of restore them if you want to. You can also, I think, validate your Spelunky installation in Steam, and that will, I think, will also restore and repair uh, your Spelunky installation. If anything should go rotten, which of course it will, so yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to have to do now is to uh, extract the graphics, as I said, and we can do this, this using the Spelunk tool. And the Spelunk tool is a command line uh, program. As you can see, if I try and double click in it, it's just opening up a window and then immediately shuts down. And that is because it really needs to be run from a command prompt i.e. a black window of doom. And personally, I am allergic to command prompts. I get a horrible rash if I try to use them. So thankfully, Sectors, the user who posted the link to the tool, has actually included two bat files that are going to help us avoid having to use the command prompt. So thank you very much for that, man. 
So all you need to do is basically take the word file and just drag it down to extract and if everything goes according to plan you will find a all text folder in here that is created by the uh, Spelunk tool and the extract bat and if we open it up you can see it contains lots and lots of different files and this is basically all the graphics of the game as far as I know anyway you can see this lots and lots of different graphics and they're all in uh, saved in a format called PNG and we're going to talk more about that later and I'm going to show you the player sprites there they are and the grey and white checkerboard pattern you can see in the background is actually just there to indicate that this area is transparent and we're going to talk more about that soon So, uh, what you need to do, pretty much, is to uh, find the graphics that you want to change and kind of use it as a template for, for your new graphics. Um, and if you can't find the graphics you want to change, then maybe you can't change it, maybe it's hard-coded into the game. I think all the graphics should be here somewhere, but I'm not sure. I'm not really... A coder, I have no clue about these things, but if you can't find the graphics, then maybe you can't change it. That's all I'm saying. And I decided to change the uh, one of the player characters, the um, the main character, the Indiana Jones look-alike, which is the character Orange, or the Orange character, looking like this. I decided I should turn him into something different, and I wanted to basically find another character that I could change so I decided and go look for the uh, let me see I think the the slave character see I think he's in the monsters let me see I can't find it there it is a character slave and this is the helping hand in Spelunky as I'm sure you may know the kind of suicidal moron that wouldn't hesitate to shoot you in the back uh, I would bother call him the unhelping hand, but that is of course a different story. But I decided to use this character sheet, or this sprite sheet, to alter it and then save it over the uh, Indiana Jones one, or the orange one, or the orange character. So now it's time to kind of open up Photoshop, and I've done that in advance. So here you can see my, uh, my slave sprite sheet, and I decided to change that up a bit and add some stuff and basically just give him a hat and some some shades and wham we have a hungover elf it's really that easy it's just one click away photoshop is an awesome program right well maybe not this took its sweet time i have to say and as you can see i haven't really changed the the ghost graphics so this character won't actually work entirely correctly in multiplayer you will be getting the uh, the original um, ghost sprite, but I couldn't be bothered fixing this as well. But as you can see, the ghost sprite was missing from the slaves sprite sheet. So yeah, this is pretty much what you can do: find the uh, the sprite sheet you want to change or the graphics you want to change, and then use it as a template, kind of. And then once you've finished it, you need to save it over the graphics you want to change and uh, you need to make sure it's got the same file name and you also need to make sure that you have transparency you can't have any solid colors going on here like this you need to make sure that the sprites are transparent or, well not the sprites but the surrounding area around the sprites are transparent or otherwise I think the graphics are going to get pretty funky um, but what you need to do you need to save this as I said and I'm going to use save for web in Photoshop and I am going to save these as 24-bit PNG files and you need to use that you can't use any other file format as far as I know and they need to be 24-bit and you need to remember transparency enable transparency uh, so you need to use a graphic software that is capable of, of opening and saving 24-bit uh, PNG files which I think most softwares will do but just need to make sure I think GIMP will do it which is a freeware uh, Photoshop like program. I'm, I'm going to post a link in the description for that one as well if you want to check it out. But as I said, don't forget transparency and don't forget 24 bit. 
You cannot use an 8-bit, at least I don't think you can. Maybe you can, but it's going to look really wonky, so, so don't. 24-bit is the way to go. So I'm going to press save here and we are going to have to go back to the desktop here and we are going to save this PNG file in our Spelunky extract folder in the alt text folder and I'm going to go down to the players map or players folder and locate the sprite sheet that I want to replace or the graphic that I want to replace and you can see this is the right one this is the Indiana Jones one I'm just going to save over with the same file name and that is important as well don't change the file name if you add any files here that are not supposed to be there you can potentially crash Spelunky or generate errors or whatever it's it's not most likely not going to work so make sure it's the same file name and just save over I'm going to replace it I'm going to minimize Photoshop and go back to the desktop and now there's just one step left to to do pretty much or two steps really what we need to do now is we've saved the new graphics or the altered graphics I should say or the altered sprite in the alt text map now we need to kind of recompress it back into the WOD file here to do that is just it's pretty simple you just drag the alt text map onto the repack.bat uh, file here and a window will pop up and it will repack all the alt text files into the alt text WOD file up here so now all that is left is to copy these two files back into the Spelunky installation and you need to copy both of them not just the WOD file that won't work you need to copy both of them so I'm going to go back here I think I've actually got that minimized down here here we are here's our Steam installation files in the textures files in the Spelunky installation. We're just going to take these two files, the WOD and the Wix file, and copy them back here and overwrite, copy and replace. Wham! Bob's your uncle, that's all there is to it. Now we're going to have a bit of a look inside Spelunky and see if this actually works. So hang on. And as you can see straight away, here's the replace character. Seems to be working pretty nicely. Thank you very much. Let's see how it works in game. So we select the default character, which would be right about there. And climb down the rope. And as you can see, it seems to be working fairly well. Yep. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, well. You're going to have to come up with some new graphics, of course, which is kind of the hard bit. <laughs> but it's not terribly difficult to uh, to do this. So I hope you can come up with some fun ways to alter the, the visuals of the game. And I don't think I have anything else to add. So I'm thinking I'm just going to say thank you for watching. And don't forget to do all that kind of stuff you're supposed to do after you watch a YouTube video. You know, subscribe, like, comment and all that stuff. And uh, I believe I shall see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.